everybody, Lutch out here. I want to share a couple thoughts with you. Uh, so I'm going to talk a minute. And uh, uh, and I understand if uh, you don't want to hear me talk, there'll be a song afterward. And, and you can go fast forward to it. Uh, and then that'd be fine. Uh, now, let me get on the subject of the matter. I was going to have a fireside chat. You can see I'm in front of one of my many fireplaces here at my mini Graceland. And, uh, but you know, it's, it's 730 here in Alabama in the evening and it's still over 90 degrees. Now, a lot of people say, man, that's hot as blue blazes. Now I know some folks say, man, that's hot as hell. Now I ain't going to say it's hot as hell. Cause I sure don't want to piss off no religious folk out there. And I'm sure you can appreciate where I'm coming from. Hey, Amen. So I got to, uh, talking to somebody. They said, love child. They said, uh, you got a, uh, <clears throat> you was you was hitting your stride there a little while back on this YouTube gig, you, man. You was just getting viewers left and right, and, <clears throat> and uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, you hitting a bunch of extra uh, views and everything. Ain't you worried about it, Love Child? No, Love Child ain't never worried about that. I wouldn't mind having a million subscribers, but I'm only only ever really been looking for one person and. And really, if it's just one at a time, but if it's only the one person, let me tell you something about Love Child. Uh, I've played every honky tonk from here to the Mississippi Alabama line. And I've played every every church from here to the Mississippi line that, that, that would have uh, somebody like me show up. And actually, I played all over the country, but that was in another lifetime. And I've played both venues, so it really don't matter. But. <clears throat> I've been a lot of places, done a lot of things, and depending on who you talk to and where you go, you're gonna have some people say, well, Love Child's a pretty good guy, and you're gonna have some people say, Love Child, he's pretty well rich. And that's before you get to where the honky-tonks and stuff are, that's just in the churches. Of course, I probably have the same feeling about a few pastors out there that still owe me offering money, but that's a side point. I don't need to get off on that subject. But seriously, let me get out of my own self here a minute. I'm only looking for one person. You know, of all the low down things I've ever done, they don't matter because according to the cross of Jesus Christ and the word of God, you know, that stuff don't exist no more, okay? It don't exist, so it ain't for me to worry about. It ain't for you to worry about. And it ain't for you to worry about somebody else. So for, for those of you I just ticked off, well, let's get on and get to the people that need to hear what's got to be said. But I'm looking for that one person. You know, I go see the doctor uh, more frequent, fre frequently, frequently than I used to. But that's because I got more things showing up more frequently than they used to, and more things that the doctor says, you know, uh, you ain't getting no younger. And so there are those days that old love child realized that I ain't gonna be here forever. And that's all right, because I got people I got to go see, songs to go sing, and and uh, streets I got to walk, and I know there's a set of gates I'm gonna go sit on there and holler at the pretty girls if I get a chance. But anyhow, the only thing I can ask God to do is is just one time, one song, one video, reach that one person who's fixing to go click click, you know. That one person that's fixing to go drop a bunch or that one person that's fixing to go do something just absolutely stupid and wreck their life. And, you know, I can stand behind a pulpit. Lord knows I've stood behind a pulpit, stood on church stages, <clears throat> played behind chicken wire. I've, I've done a mess of it. But the only thing I ask God to do, just in case this is my last video, and I don't plan on it being. Dr. Sit didn't say it was going to be my last video, but you never know when. But all I ask God to do, whether it's tomorrow or 100 years from now, and as long as there's a YouTube, and as long as there's somebody going to listen to this old man, I'm going to ask you to consider Jesus Christ as your Savior. That's all I can do. Now, for the rest of y'all that's sitting there that might be saying, well, love child, I've watched a bunch of your videos, and you ain't no example of a Christian. I never said I was a Christian. I'm a love child. That's right, baby. Don't look at me. Don't look at me that way. Turn this YouTube video off. Go on. Go to church tomorrow and 
You just wear your wear your little uh, feelings on your shoulders. I was gonna say wear something else, but <clears throat> <clears throat> trying to keep it clean here and then pissed off enough people. All right, love child, settle down. But sincerely, I think that was the voice of the Lord. No. <laughs> One of them machines over there makes a noise like that. Almost sound like a train going underwater. That's a sign. That's a sign. Uh, that's a sign and a wonder. I wonder what the Lord's trying to tell me with that noise. <laughs> you ever talk to these people? I'm sorry, I got to do this. I was talking to one old chick one day. I went out with her. She said, oh yeah, I was at this big old mega church and there was gold dust falling down from the sky. And you could see it. And, and I got people that was with me. I said, well, my God, why didn't you scrape it up, man? Oh, no, the Lord sent down gold from the sky. I said, well, scoop it up, sell it, give it back to the church, man. Help them buy some more goofy lights to splatter on the stage. I just dropped a few more people from this video. That's okay. I'm just looking for one of y'all. <laughs> It don't matter where you've been, you know, Love Child. Love Child done some long, some low down things. And a lot of the low down things he's done has been when he's supposed to be representing Jesus Christ. So, uh, and of course I've done some low down things, but I wasn't no, so necessary to represent anybody but the world. But that being said, <clears throat> I know you're out there. I know in my heart what I've asked God to do. And I'm asking you to take me as an example. I am uh, what Paul said he was, the chiefest of sinners. I talked about a book the other day on a video. I keep getting the title wrong, but that I hate do I. And it's, it's a faith walk. And I don't care what the world thinks about you. I don't care what mama thinks about you. I don't care what your old lady, your old man thinks about you, what your kids think about you. Now, if you got your dog upset with you, you might want to uh, change a few things because dogs are pretty good judges of character. <clears throat> I got a few more you just fell off this video. Good. I love y'all. Come on now. I'm just trying to trying to fit into this mold. I'm, I'm, I'm so serious, I gotta act a fool just for a minute. I'm asking you, and you know who you are, you feel something down in here saying, you know, <clears throat> that crazy dude, he got me pegged to the wall. I don't ever need to know who you was. You ain't ever gotta get up and say nothing. You ain't never gotta mention my name. Like I said, I might be, they might done put me up there on the mountain <clears throat> with a headstone reading Return to Cinder on it. By the way, that's what I want on my headstone, Return to Cinder. It just is what it is, like my daddy sang, baby. I'm gonna return me to the cinder, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So if we've had this little fireside chat, you got to know a little bit more about the mind of Love Child, but Love Child's dead dog serious. Uh, that's all I can do, God, is, is try one more time to reach somebody. And I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you to consider giving your heart to Jesus. And don't worry, hey Joe Bud. Somebody said, we don't see much of Joe Bud lately. Come here Joe Bud, come on, come on. I'm in my grandma's rocking chair, now that was a good woman of God. But uh, she'd do some things that make the old church world mad too. Joe Bud, say hey to the folk out there. Joe Bud, say hello, hello, hello. It's kind of hard to get Grandma rocking chair. Can you get up here, boy? Oh, let's just let it all hang out tonight. Come on. Let's see who my real followers are. You can handle me and Joe Bud. Joe Bud. Joe Bud, see, I, what I just tell you about dogs. Dogs are good judges of character. This is my boy, Joe Bud. I saved him from a drug hole, living in the mud, just absolutely no kind of life. And I put him in my truck, and he's been with him daddy ever since. And that's a good boy right here. That's a good boy right here. And he loves fireside chaps, don't you, buddy? That's right. That's okay, buddy. Everybody sees you now. You got your another 15 minutes of fame. Give daddy some sugar. No, uh-uh. 
No, I seen you out there. Uh, never mind. <clears throat> Anyhow, I'm asking you. Don't. I'm trying to find the best way to say it, but you know it don't matter because I believe that I've already said what I need to say. Now down below, down below, yes, Joe, bud, yes, Joe, yes, son, yes, son. Down below in this link, down below in this video, I'm going to put a link to a video where me and my boy Joe, bud, actually did our morning devotion and said a sinner's prayer. So, <clears throat> uh, go down to that link and recite what me and Joe Bud recited. And like I said, it, I may be already, me and Joe Bud may be up there uh, hanging off a gate of pearl looking for chihuahuas. You know, you dig what I'm saying? By the time you see this, but I know the Holy Spirit's going to grab your heart. And you're the one I'm looking for. So... If uh, 10 years from now this thing's still only got 20 views on it, that's all right. I'm looking for 21. You dig it, baby. I love y'all. I didn't mean to make nobody mad. I just, it's hot out there. The heat got, that's what it is. Joe Bud, the heat got to, my, got to you. Heat got to you, but Joe Bud, yeah, heat got to me. I'm going to have to use a dog dish to fan myself off. It's so hot. Man, I got the air conditioner set up, too. Yo, bud, what else is on your mind? I'll tell you what, anybody still watching this has got to be a fan of Joe, bud. Because cause daddy done, daddy love child done run out of things. Oh, and that boy they got playing that, uh, playing in that movie about my daddy. He don't look like my daddy. I'm going to tell you that right now. He don't even begin to look like my daddy. And I might just make a video and spill the beans on that imposter. Now you just watch yourself. Joe Bud, I'm gonna sing one. It's real simple. If people say love child, we appreciate all them fancy songs and everything you do because you just rip one off. And uh, you gotta understand, doctor said my hands ain't as young as they used to be either. And this whole guitar here is about, oh, probably about 80 years old. I think the strings are that old too, and it's been about that long since I tuned it. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. To follow Jesus, I won't turn back. I won't turn back. That reminds me of a childhood memory. <clears throat> I grew up in a, I grew up in the Holy Ghost Tabernacle in Bluefield, Kentucky. That's where I first see the light, but. Anyhow, down the road there was a Baptist church, and uh, thank God for good Baptist people. You know what I'm saying? Because the uh, the Pentecostals wouldn't take the time for uh, for vacation Bible school, but Lord knows I needed that vacation Bible school. It kept me out of a mess. You hear me? So I'd like to thank all the Baptist churches out there, or any church out there that has vacation Bible schools, because I remember they used to sing this song, and of course I was a musical virtuoso, and I'd swipe my brother's guitar, and they even had a bus come around and pick you up, because back then they didn't have to worry about somebody's parents suing them in case the kid fell off the bus, and you know, but it, uh, don't get me started, but anyhow, they used to sing this song, and it just brought back that memory. Ain't nothing here to stage tonight. You believe I have not been going off a script tonight? The world behind me, I like this part. The cross before me. 
I'm gonna hit one of them notes I like to hit. The world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me. I won't turn back. Got a little Willie Nelson in there. In the twilight's glow I see her. I won't turn back. All right, love child, that's enough. All right, I'm fixing to do a song for you in my, gonna, gonna render a song for you in my high class <coughs> sound and video studio. Gonna be live from Knox Pater, Alabama. Now, before I sign off, that one person's all look for it. There might be a hundred of you out there. Yeah, but one person, whether it's this video or one I did five years ago, if they just one more person, dear God, I ask you. I'm praying, by the way, with my eyes open. Dear God, I ask you to let love child let this guy right here <clears throat> do something one more time. Say something that's going to reach that heart. God, you know who they are. And bring them to you. And let them hit that link down below and say that prayer that a sinner should pray. Love you and live from Knox Pater, Alabama. <clears throat> it's your love child coming right now. As soon as I shut this camera off. <laughs>
Thank you.